Dear Diary by Ryan Lowry, May 14th. I survived another Friday the 13th, proving once again, superstition is stupid. Last night, my wife brought home two movies, Sharktopus and Wright, starring Anthony Hopkins, who was great in it. He's great in everything. Although I have to say, I found his super evil, possessed priest voice a little more than Hannibal Lecter, but louder. Just saying. The movie itself like, felt like a recruitment movie for the Catholic Church. And being in that cult is not on my list of things to do in this lifetime. From now on, instead of referring to that movie as Wright, I'm going to refer it as Wright. As in, oh, Catholics and their scary monsters. Right. Sharktopus, on the other hand, was a really fun movie, and everybody should see it, if only to enjoy Eric Roberts as a scientist. Roger Corman produced the movie, and if you don't know who Roger Corman is, then I feel sorry for you. Go to the IMDb website, type in Roger Corman, and soak up the phone book long list of low-budget features that he has helped to spew out into the world. Favorites of Mr. Corman are A Bucket of Blood and The Dunwich Horror. Elsewhere in pop culture, earlier this week I was watching Jeopardy, and one of the questions was which group outsold the Beatles on iTunes, and I said, please don't be Glee, please don't be Glee, and it was Glee. I'll be really glad when that show goes the way of the OC and Prison Break. Yuck. In other musical news, I have rediscovered all things Richard O'Brien this week and squeezed Rocky Horror and Shock Treatment back onto my iPod. Six people have deleted me from Facebook this week, and by there being seven days in a week, I should be without any contacts in a few months. Two high school exes deleted me, but I deserved it. You should never joke about a sibling's death apparently. People are so sensitive now, especially in the crotch. Tee -hee. One old lady I used to work with deleted me because I made fun of the royal family. <laughs> That'll win them over, shithead. Lizzie will get right on the horn and have you over for tea because you deleted me on Facebook. Oh, yuck. It used to bother me being deleted from Facebook friends, but that was only because I couldn't figure out who deleted me, but now there's a program that keeps track of who's new on your list and who deleted you, who decided that you were no longer worth the trouble. Another old high school acquaintance deleted me because I ranted about the Bible. I am saying it's not appropriate for children because there's so much violence in it. I say she's an acquaintance because I couldn't even remember her maiden name. Not really sure why overtly sensitive people would add me to their contact list anyway. I've always been a bit of a turd, socially speaking. Another deletion from my list was this bubblehead who used to work with my wife. But I was kind of relieved to see her go because uh, she has a head like a diving board and all of her status updates were boring rhetorical questions like Why can't every day be sunny? Or uh I think my baby's the happiest baby in the world, don't you? Shithead. I hope her baby pushes her down a flight of stairs. I do. I hope her baby pushes her down the stairs and she cracks that diving board fucking head of hers. Don't you think having a head wound is really sad? Don't you think being paralyzed by your illegitimate child is a real poopy poo? Speaking of mental defects, driving my wife to work today and we come to a stoplight and in front of us is a Mercedes Benz with a dream catcher hanging from the rearview mirror and a Harley Davidson in the back window. Identity crisis much? Holy shit, Mama Bear. You are sp spreading yourself awfully thin. Dream catchers, the yardstick for the tarred thick. Don't get me wrong, I love Native American art, especially at a casino. And as for putting a Harley Davidson sticker on a fucking Benz, even for the sake of being disproportionately ironic, that sauce couldn't be any weaker than if Disney tried to make a sitcom out of it. How fucking lonely do you gotta be to cater to that many social subgroups at once? All she needed was a meat is murder bumper sticker and a Jesus fish and she'd be ready for NASCAR sponsorship. Yuck.
Speaking of soulless creeps, I dropped my mother's gift for Mother's Day off last week. You know, to thank her for the eight and a half months of incubation. About an hour into the visit, Mom gets really defensive when I slam the queen. Tell her that monarchies no longer serve a practical purpose in this day and age. Take that, Emperor Hito. We wind up having a half an hour barking match about politics, religions, and I stormed out rather than listen to her hateful bile. I get home, I check my Twitter page, where a porn star who I have adored for two decades posted a tweet about not getting along with her mother. I gave her the miniature version of my visit, and the lovely damsel consoled me. I got consoled by a porn star who auctions off her used underpants online. God, I love the internet.